The house was really filled with junk almost to the ceiling. After we decluttered the items from the whole house, we discovered that there's uh, some writings on the wall. Uh, it's telling that uh, okay, uh, she, she has been waiting for so long, you know, no food to eat, yeah, uh, there's no, uh, no one to help her, what can she do? I never imagined that someone who will land up in this state. So we did one door knocking uh, uh, at one elderly house. So we heard some sound. I, I tried to jump you know, up and see what is happening. I discovered that there's one very skinny uncle you know, lying on a very dirty mattress. Because of his output, there's some uh, pungent smell. Then I, I think that there's something wrong already. The first thing that I, I think of is to ask SCDF to open up the door. Uncle told us that uh, he has not been eating for a few days already. Ambulance came uh, to, to fetch him, you know, to do all the treatments. So you can see after a few weeks later, huh, wow, he's like so different. Eh? I didn't know that through volunteering, I can save a person's life. There are many items over here, and including diapers, adult diapers, which is often needed. Things like wheelchair, we do have it. Uh, this is the Sunday one. They need to give us all the documents to prove that they are low incomes, they are IC. You know, their bank statements as well. Yeah, they only left 500 over dollars. Uh, why we need medical documents, schizophrenia. They will be facing a lot of lizards, cockroaches, you know, big bugs. Especially cockroaches, you know, once you move the cabinet, all will just come out. Yeah, <laughs> so you'll see a lot of screaming here and there, shouting, you know. But uh, what we can give them is that, okay, at least, you know, in the later part, you still have a better living environment. I was a financial advisor before. I was waiting for a client, you know, he was late. One elderly approached me. What she told me is that she wanted me to declutter the house. Uh, I approached my friends. There's a lot of rejection. You know, as a salesperson, and I've never do volunteer before, my friend would just tell me, hey Stephen, your face look like got do volunteer one, man. <laughs> so I was being rejected, you know. From then onwards, I actually post on social media. Very luckily, I managed to get five new friends. After we finish up this project, you can see the tears coming up from her eyes. It's because she has been waiting for this opportunity for very long. The thank you from her is really from her heart. I didn't know that she started to spread to her neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> she told me that can, can we help the neighbours as well. So I, I discussed with my team, you know, that five, five person. Then they say, okay, might as well we do it just once a month. You know, so we start off from there. After you clean up the house, you will feel aches, you know, here and there. I do have like uh, uh, back aches, you know, I have uh, headaches as well under the hot sun. I have to apply, apply ointment, take medicine certain times, you know, to, to keep myself fit yeah, again and to, to move on. Today we are here to declutter one of the needy house. Yeah, so uh, what we are going to do now is uh, to meet up with the volunteers and also to gather them. And uh, later on, we are going to declutter the house and clean and paint up. So uh, this process will take about uh, eight hours. Yeah, so basically uh, 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 this uh, whole costing of this project might cost about 3000 to 5000 So all the old furniture will be disposed away. Yeah, and also we will give them new furniture later on after the cleanup. I actually started up kind of smart. So when you buy something from us, you know, we actually doing something good at the back end for you. So the profit will goes to helping on all these people to reimburse the handyman service, bed bug fumigation, uh, PUB bills, uh, uh, children maybe they want to go for tuition, they don't have the money. When we actually combine our services, it's a one-stop service for the elderly. Yeah, so we hope that more people can come in uh, for, uh, to help us for the donation and uh, of course uh, to volunteer as well. Our job is like almost 24 by 7. You know, because they are very comfortable with us. So whatever thing, they will just call us. You know, sometimes you can, you can answer one same elderly call maybe 10 times. Wherever place we are, we have to answer their phone. Because we, we will never know that there's one day they really need help. Yeah, because there are times that they really fall down. The last and the first call will be to us. Those without immediate families, we will take care of their final journey funerals as well. So this befriending team, 
some volunteers who are, are quite new, sometimes they will get emotionally in touch with these elderly. So, example, when our close friend dies off, you know, or pass away, then of course we will feel sad. But I told myself that I have to overcome it. We are still taking care of many elderly. Ma. If I really want to help someone all the way, I have to, I have to stay strong to tell them that um, the person has already, you know, go to a better place, you know. So it's time for us to, to use the same, you know, uh, synergy or probably the, 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 the positive energy that you had to help another one. After you clean up the house, you feel aches, you know, here and there. You need a lot of uh, strength on your hands, you know. All these are the, the places where I get aches a lot of time. Of course, taking care of self is very important, yeah, of course, um, physically or mentally. Yeah, taking care, that means we, we need to, uh, sometimes I, I take some vitamins, you know, or, or some pills, if I get headache, you know, I, I need to take some pills to, to maintain, because, because you cannot stop. Yeah, even we do meditation, you know, uh, uh, to keep our mind clear, if not, there's a lot of things going on. You know, when you close your eyes, you'll think of the elderly here and there, or a lot of problems. So we, uh, we, I, I do meditation and also uh, 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 many different ways to relax myself. Yeah, so this is how I, I do it. Moving forward, I would like to share uh, my experience with more people on how to do good. I can even educate my son, you know, to tell him that 长大了你要怎么去帮人, rather than 长大了你要赚多少钱. Helping joy is just a name, kindness mark is just a name. Most important, whether you want to step up, is up to you. Yeah. So really hope that everyone uh, can play a little bit part, you know, uh, lend your uh, time and uh, maybe share your time a bit. I managed to find things that they cannot buy. It's more treasure, you know, it's, it's, it's really a treasure. We can help each other and take care of the community together.